is Movie Tone, Lionel Gamlin reporting. <laughs> the beauty of Lynmouth suffered calamitous disfigurement by the tragic floods of last August. Pictures taken at that time show the river rushing down its altered course. But today it has been re-diverted to its proper channel and the road which it destroyed has been rebuilt, though since then a landslide has done further damage. At the time of the disaster, a temporary footbridge had to be built across the river to cope with the immediate emergency. A reminder of the acuteness of the emergency can still be seen by a glance at the height reached by the flood water at the climax of the tragedy. Today, the river flows calmly along its original course, and Lynmouth, bravely reconstructing its life, gave a great welcome to the Duke of Edinburgh. His Royal Highness, paying his visit during a tour of the West Country, talked with many Lynmouth people and made a thorough inspection, accompanied by Mrs Slater, Chairman of the Council. Quite a large caravan town has sprung up, housing many who lost their homes. They have their own laundry, where they can work without being worried by the children. And the children have their own playroom where they can get on with what really matters. Bungalows are rapidly being built to replace the caravans and the first one to be completed was officially opened by the Duke. In reply to his questions about the appearance of Lynmouth before the floods, Mrs Slater showed His Royal Highness some picture postcards. Let's hope that someday, soon, Lynmouth will look like this again. 